What's up guys, good morning. Back here in Yuma, of course, uh, where we're always at pretty much. Um, today we're, uh, they're doing actually like a little toy, a Toys for Tots type thing. They're doing like a comparison video. I think I've been wanting to do that for a while. Just to compare the dynamics, you know, four seater Turbo S versus the velocity. Stock suspension wise, um, I have a couple little bolt-ons or whatever. My brother, um, I think all he has is the blow off valve couple minor differences just kind of want to go and get a feel and kind of show you guys like the difference in handling the difference in um, you know how the suspension works the bucking both vehicles buck I think um, I think the velocity bucks significantly more um, so that's just something we're gonna go and check out while we're there hopefully there's a bunch of bikes and action going on I also got this new belt um, I forgot it. I forgot what the, the big Richard. That's what it is. So Packard just put out their video where uh, you buy their big Richard belts made by G Boost. I guess that's what they run. And uh, you buy their belt and you get a free hat. Uh, I don't know who the hell is haunting me. I'm gonna go check it out real quick. Oh my god. But anyways, uh, yeah. So the big Richard from Packard. It's their new belt, I guess. I don't know. It's made by G Boost, which seems like G Boost just makes. Um, everybody's belt I don't know because I'm I currently I had the OEM I bought a spare OEM um, and then I wanted to try the the Evo belt because I know theirs is made by G Boost I've had I uh, ran a few hundred miles in Glamis uh, the past two trips on my stage four Evo tune but now I just kind of want to try I just want to try everybody's belt everybody that offers their own version or I don't know if they make differences or if it's just a marketing thing I'm curious about that is it just a marketing scheme or is there slight differences I've had good luck with with OEM with Evo and now I'm gonna try this big Richard and uh, it's from Packard I got a free hat so thanks for that hopefully it lasts me and hopefully I have the same uh, the same look as I have with the previous belt So guys out here at County 19 So we are here at 19, uh, here to do like the comparisons, I guess, between the dynamics and the velocity. I was thinking like, oh, the velocity, is it worth the extra money? I think like the velocity was, you know, 4,000, I think cheaper or six. I'm not sure exactly on the number, but somewhere in that area. And it was something to me, you know, like, yeah, the active suspension and the, you know, the little uh, touch screen stuff, little options here and there. Is it worth the extra 6000 At the time, I just kind of said, like, I guess, buy once, cry once. I just basically made my decision off that, and I just went with the with the dynamics. So I can't say that, yeah, it's worth it, or, yeah, go ahead and spend. It's up to the individual, ultimately. Um, so, right here, we have my dynamics, and then I brought my brother's velocity. I've heard that with the velocity, you get, like, your shocks done. I'm not sure if that, you know, your shock's getting done if just with the spring kit, it goes away completely, or you know uh spending a couple g's and doing a, like a shock therapy type kit um i heard that that gets rid of that booking a lot if you're gonna get you know a razor and and you know do your own suspension change the tires or do this or do that you know i think the velocity is like an awesome st starting point you have the long travel you're 72 inches wide you know if it's true what they say about the um the spring kit or whatever then you do a spring kit it's another thousand bucks and now you have a badass machine and you saved yourself a few thousand dollars so here we have mine they're both 2019s 
Uh, mine's the Dynamics. I went with red just because when I went to get it, I heard that they were being phased out. So I just kind of wanted to be like, I don't know, something kind of different or something that's not going to stick around. Similar cage. He's running the Raceline B Lux. I'm not sure what model that one is. The Rhino. Oh, Rhino. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Good job. <laughs> so in the video, you might not be able to tell. It might not do it much justice. Um, it's kind of hard to get those multiple angles and kind of show you guys what's going on. As you can see throughout the multiple GoPro angles, um, we're hoping, or at least I was hoping, for a better turnout and like kind of give you guys a better idea. Um, I took some videos obviously outside of the car, recording my own car, recording my brother's car. Actually, what we kind of messed up and maybe what we should have done is as we were testing, my brother made a few passes in his and then he noticed an area where the whoops were uh, significantly bigger. So we moved down, but I don't believe we moved down in his razor. We hopped in mine and he started going in mine. So I don't think it, it's a true, fair comparison. Um, the whoops that we were hitting with his were a little bit smaller versus the ones that we were hitting with mine you know just a tad bit bigger but he did say himself he's like night and day difference you can tell the moment you get in so some noticeable or uh, some key differences i guess obviously between the dynamics and the velocity um your ride command your dash is pretty same pretty similar what well, i think it actually is like exactly the same Something else that changes is the steering wheel. Boom, there's a steering wheel. Hopefully this shit don't play. Some of your ride command features. There you have your reverse camera, your settings, if you're like firm, sport, uh, comfort. You can change your screens here. So you have your dynamics gauges. This is like your G's and where you're turning, mile an hour. Obviously you press the brake there, turns on and off. Um, again, like your sport, firm, comfort. So yeah, there's your other gauges. You can uh, you can change this one, change it. You know, go through the settings. There's your voltage, your boost, um, temperature, uh, and then obviously you have your music here, uh, your volumes. Uh, hook up your phone there, and then we have your GPS. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Some other differences are like uh, the little accents here. You get like the little fang lights with the dynamics. Um, obviously, they charge you for the for the paint, the base, the velocity. This is all like plastic color or gray. I think it's something different here. Actually, I think this is different on the dynamics. It has this. The grill is the same. Obviously, that's a a geyser grill. I swapped that out. The suspension is pretty much the same. The dynamics comes with the full doors. Another thing that I don't think people that people overlook a lot is the the radius rods. So like the dynamics has these heavy duty ones. Um, I'll show you guys the velocity one right now. Uh, so yeah, you get the reverse camera. You get the uh, little brake light here, the third brake light. Not a big deal. You go to Polaris, any Polaris dealer or whatever. They they sell you the kit for like 150, 180 bucks. Plug and play, super simple. Something people are always curious about is like tire weights and like are paddles necessary in the sand dunes. So right here, let's see. So you guys can see that. 43.4. This is my brother's wheel. It's a 32 inch tire, it has 14 pounds of air, 15 inch rim, and it's a true bead lock. Uh, mine, I went with obviously the Packard, same tire, same 14 pounds of air in the front. Let's see what it says. I think that's the reset. Oh, okay, we try it now. Look at that. Thirty-three. What was the other one? Forty-three. Ten pounds right there, just in the in the front wheel. Now I like to compare the the paddles and the stock one. Here's the paddle. You're freaking holding it. I'm not understanding. Would well, let it go on your on your pet, no? How would the front be more heavier than the back? That's weird. Thirty-six point six. I wonder because the air. The back, I think they have like eleven pounds of air. This is mine. The Packard. 
Yours were 37. So how can they be so off? Oh, the back, I wonder if mine, mine is a talon. And then so a mine is, or a might nine. be some extreme. Oh yeah, and yours is an eight inch rim. Oh, so my brother's running the an eight inch all the, seven. All the way around. A seven? Seven, nine or seven. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, that's why then. My front rims on the Packards, they're sevens. My brother, he's running seven all the way around. His is an 11 extreme, which this will give you guys a good comparison between the two paddles. Mine is a Talon. So the Talon has, I believe it's a three inch wider footprint. So I mean, a little bit more paddle, two inches less rim. Mine's a nine inch rim in the rear. And my brother's is a seven. So still mine beats him by three pounds. I mean, that's not that crazy, but the front was pretty significant. Now I'm gonna put the stock one on. See how freaking heavy this beast is. Boom, oh, 59.6. So 60 pounds. So that's 20 pounds heavier. Almost 30 more than my front setup. So think about that 30 pounds more per corner, or 20 to 30, depending on what wheel you run. That's pretty significant in the sand. You don't need them in the sand. That's what, you know, I kind of tell people before it's like it's not mandatory you're not gonna you know be getting stuck or whatever you'll be everywhere in four-wheel drive you'll be all right but it, it is a significant difference